Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Fuck you with these names, man. Yeah, this back cover, we won't be covering that until later. Interesting how all of these are are here. Look at this game and on a completely different fucking engine to everything before here. Uh, yeah, we'll literally be doing Dream Drop Distance and then this game and then back cover and then three. Literally in this order is what we're going to be doing. Because um, this one, I fucking hope will have... Because this came came out after uh, Dream Drop Distance. So surely we should play that first. Because this will probably connect to shit that's going to happen in Dream Drop Distance. So it's probably safest to do that first. And then back cover is kind of its own fucking thing which will connect to things in 3. I'm sure. I don't know why my bitrate is doing random shit, but um, it is for some ungodly reason. Anyways, let's start this, I guess. We'll see what... I've never played Dream Drop, Dream Drop Distance, so this is going to be... Now we're hitting territory, as I've said before. Now we're hitting territory where I have... Also, I need to change shit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ah, oh, I forgot. I need to change. Uh, this isn't gonna be a, a intro with like music and shit, right? I need to mute that if that's the case. <laughs> right game. Even though this game is gonna have a sanctuary, most likely, which is the greatest fucking intro theme, but can't listen to that. Okay, so far it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna change the title here. Um, Dream Drop Distance. And also, yeah, Fantasia. Very neat. Oh, well, okay, this isn't a... Well, is it in a different CG engine, so to speak? Maybe. No, no, this music is fine. I think. Well, yeah, this is just CG cutscene shit. It might be a bit fancier than what has been before. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Dream. Dream. Drop. Distance. HD. Fantastic. Is it any more? Uh, fantastic. Okay, um. I'm sure shit is being, you know, okay. Stuff is being shown. Of one, for some reason. I don't know why we're... Alright, well. Oh, and Mickey is at the bottom. Cool. Why is he... Oh, okay. <laughs> why is he there instantly? Why is Ansem there for some reason? Alright. Oh, and immediately into Chain of Memories? Alright, that's... Interesting. And then we... Fuck me, th this, this, this trailer or whatever is hopping through shit real quick. Moving from event to event. But I mean, I guess it is gonna be bring up all of these points. And then, yeah, this is Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, look at this! The... Oh, so good. Fucking love that moment. And then instantly to Semnas, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, covering this part. Oh, dude. It's fantastic. That part's like, exhausting to play. <laughs> like, damn. And uh, this is something they haven't done. I'm sorry, game, you're lying now. <laughs> this isn't real. This is with Terra Aqua Ventus, with him racing that shit and whatnot. You're lying right now. You're making shit up. Unless you're spoiling shit that's going to happen, but I don't know about that.
In fact, I, I literally... Well, I know that this will happen because fucking Aqua is not there. He just did a summon. Sora did a summon. Who are you summoning? We didn't get to see. But Sora did a summon there. That's the animation he does when he summons shit. I recognize that. Dream resistance. Um... Oh, no, no, now they fall for some reason. <laughs> uh, let's just do that so it doesn't do some shit. Uh... Let's do that. Save. Boom. Let's click that three times so that it actually changes. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, and that changed. Okay. Standard difficulty. Vibrations. No, I don't care for that. Subtitles. Yes. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. Okay, hold on. Subtitles on. Yes. There we go. I know this game has some mechanic with pets or whatever the fuck. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Oh my... Wait... Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? Oh, this is referring to, uh... Hey! Do you remember now? No, this is when they, Wait. uh... Did you never lose your memory? Okay, gotcha. This is... This is at this point. That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> Are you not? <laughs> you just name forced him, yeah. Is Ansem. Okay, I... Don't confuse people instantly, game. But yes, that was what he took as yes, his name. When he wrote he the reports and shit. Because he wanted to be a douchebag. We'll think of something else. Well, here's when we're gonna step into fucking territory that's gonna... Be things I haven't no I haven't seen a storm's coming. or heard. I know. But also shit that I know of that I'm gonna be upset at probably. Right. Uh, Riku I'm fine. What's that? It's Ursula. Watch out. <laughs> No, my God, it was! Come on, man, I was kidding! I was joking, what are you doing? I was literally joking! That was not being serious! Why did you take my joke seriously, game? Come on, man! What the fuck? No! Why? This is the fucking tutorial? Okay, hold on. Let me recover for a bit. Oh, alright. Oof. Oh god, okay. Oh. Oh god, okay. Ooh. Oof. Alright. Let's, uh, okay, let's interact with this, whatever this is. Mementos are optional to are optional tutorials and flashbacks. Access them by selecting play now or view now when the cues appear. Okay. Mementos are also available from the main menu at any time. Okay. Tutorial, combat basics. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to because I don't know what the game is going to cover in terms of tutorials. So, sure. Go ahead. I don't know what you're gonna potentially leave out. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. we're playing this, uh, uh, Hello? 
Oh, I don't know what that was about, but sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're playing with this, uh, just like birth by sleep system. Yeah, good. I can deal with that. And I immediately have dodge and block. Okay, that's his block. And it's instant. Okay, I like that. Do I have... Sh okay, well, no, I don't have shot locks instantly. Uh, any other buttons that we... Interact with? No. Does that reach her? It did! Miraculously, it fucking did. Boom! Maximum HP increased. Cool. Would you have just given me that if I decided to skip it? So based on the fact that we have those moves and whatnot, we're gonna not deal with reaction commands in this game. I take it. Okay, yeah, this sentence again. Flashback, the mark of mastery exam. Yes. As a Keyblade master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Leonor had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must trouble us. Yes, Which indeed. Is why you, Sora, and Riku are to be tested. Riku's got a haircut. I think I preferred him with long hair. Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. So we're fucked. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders. An impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions. Forget what you know about the Keyblade. And begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. <laughs> so it's like, can I don't need to f we can take forget all my cool abilities, hey, right? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Why do you... 
Oh, just because you can still summon that Seeing sword. That path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Well, for you, possibly. Sora, I feel like, has proven Count himself, sort of. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku Although he sure, certainly could colors. need the finesse. Very well, then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. Glossary Keyblades. Uh, okay. Keyblade Masters. Okay. Master Xehanort. Excuse It's like, hello? It's like, come on. This is the minigame. You take down enemies, collect prizes as you fall at high speed. Okay. What kind of prizes? Invectors pass through the gold ring that lights up once you met certain goals why are we doing this in kinwars one outfit pass through the ring okay attacks won't reach when the target is red okay and we just when the target is yellow attack the rainbow colored weak points to defeat bosses you will need to target their flashing weak points press the circle to reduce speed press that to, to, to quickly dodge Magic prices. If you pick up magic prices, you can use the from magic spinning magic text. Okay. Dodging the flak, aerial break, yeah, diving strike. Missed that one. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Mega Flare. Oh sure. It's the first time he's ever used that. I guess. What did I actually collect? Did I get rank? Oh, cool. I got A, a rank. What did I get from that? Obtain spark dive. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's our new clothes that we got somehow. And we woke up in fucking Travers Town. Alright. It's been a while. This is... Traverse Town. Yeah, for some reason hey, we're gonna be here. What's with my clothes? Yes, must exactly. Be more of Yen Sid's magic. We had such cool clothes before. Why don't we get to keep those? They let us transform into fucking amazing shit like the final form. Is that? No. Yeah, I forgot. This game has. No, oh, yeah, of course we're gonna have different properties. Look. What happened to I was Riku? gonna say, was that fucking Aladdin? Riku! But no, Hello? I know who that was. Riku! Shut it. This what? guy. Talk about noise. <laughs> the world ends with no. Wait a minute. Sora. Was it called the world ends with you or some shit? Yeah, but was that the game? How do you know that, that he's from? Twewi. A player? Was that with the game? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay, okay. buddy. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Yes, he's sore. He's stupid. Sorry. You're no good. 
You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? <laughs> now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's gonna show some fucking parkour shit. <laughs> Flow motion basics. Yeah. So is this just for shits and giggles, or does this serve a real point? Is my question. It probably serves to get you to places. Let's use your environment to the fullest. Uh, is he able to like air step or fucking uh, what's it called? the air hike with this the, the, to slide into walls or into oh, into a wall okay thank you or pole you will enter flow motion well in flow motion you can press circle to jump or square to gain a burst of speed this makes getting around much easier slide towards the lamppost to gain a burst of speed okay you don't always have to slide into flow motion. You can always you can use some objects like handrails and ropes just by landing on them. Okay, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Not sure where to go. Go with the flow. Flow motion base. Okay, right. Fuck me. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be honest. This map sucks ass. Like, instantly, I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, they, they just, like, obscure part of it. And, like, just kind of have it be... Oh, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that particularly. All right, let's press pause and let's see what we're dealing with. Abilities. We got a long-ass list of abilities. Um... It's a ton of normal ones, a bunch, a few support stuff. So here's scan here. Okay, so once more and second chance. That's the word, right? It's gonna pop up here. Spirits. There's three. Interesting. I think I'm gonna head off. Uh, all right. Have a good night. Items. Keyblades. Kingdom key. Yep. Oh, no, that's it. Okay. Uh, was that all? Oh. Oh, well, I guess they're gonna introduce us to shit later. So, strength, magic, defense, yeah, experience, mm hmm. Rush level. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's something. something. Uh, fire, blizzard, thunder, resistance, wa water resistance, okay. Dark resistance, light resistance. I'm sorry, light resistance? Sure. Makes sense. Reports. Okay. Uh, game records, dive mode, character files, main characters, robed figure. Who are we? Okay. We know who this is. What are you fucking talking about? Brig, yeah. Human form of Sigbar. Thank you for just saying that outright and just not deciding to be obscure about it. One of the 13's members. He became a nobody during a certain experiment. Well, that wasn't really an experiment. Seonor just fucking stabbed him. Uh, apparently. Dream Eaters. Yeah, we brought up them before the game decided to say what these are. These not. Tilinio, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, so we're gonna move on. Nuisances, most quite the repertoire. Supersonic confusion waves, yep, vampiric drain attack, just. Oh boy. Who does these reports? Who's this? Who's deciding to be fucking sassy when writing these? Treasures, trophy shelf. Oh yeah, so we're dealing with these. Oh, yes, I'm. Um, thank you for telling me what they are. That makes it easier to do them. Proof you have racked up 2,000 drop points. F You're taking place in... First place in every flick rush cup. 
Okay, I can imagine what that is. Then every Keyblade. Which I have defeated Lord Kiru. I don't know what, who that is. Proof you have maxed out every stat boosting ability. Oh boy. Proof you have linked with your spirits at least 50 times. Proof you have defeated 50 enemies using reality shift. Oh boy. Uh huh. All right, let's. Uh, I wanted to look at the glossary of keyblades. Yeah, what is this gonna say? Key-shaped weapon forged by man during the age of fairy tales. Oh boy. Okay, interesting. Any other origins have yet to be revealed? Yeah, exactly. All keyblades have one of three natures: light, darkness, or. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> or hearts yeah uh huh okay right cool interesting these last two are exceptional most documented keyblades including Soros and Riku's are keyblades of light I'm sorry Riku's ones was also light okay interesting the heart must be proven before a keyblade will appear in its master's hand no lock can withstand a keyblade nor can any non-agent of light special what Okay, that was the end. Special key chains allow the Keyblade's appearance and performance to be altered. Right. Keyblade Masters. Guardians of the balance between light and darkness. Through the bequeathing, they choose the next generation of Keyblade wielders. This is what I think Aqua, Terra, and Ventus technically did all three, whether consciously or unconsciously. Uh... Training their bodies and tempering their hearts so that they too might one day be Keyblade Masters. While the word Master might be tossed around, only an existing Keyblade Master can pass on the title and its associated powers. They often elect to test candidates for the mark of mastery. Among the Keyblade Masters is one true successor who is tasked with protecting a hollowed ground known as the Land of Departure. Yes. Master Xehanort, arguably the most powerful Keyblade Master in history, and a staunch advocate for a world where light and darkness are equal. You sure about that? In his thirst for knowledge, he allowed his heart to succumb to darkness. While attempting to reproduce the Keyblade War, he was thwarted by three young Keyblade Wailers, and his body was seemingly destroyed. Well, it's not the whole story, is it? However, Keyblade Masters have the power to remove hearts, and transfer them to other vessels. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Masters and Norse have leveraged this power of recom <clears throat> have leveraged this power of recombination and clashed with Sora under a number of identities. Well, not conscious though, right? Well, that's different. Okay. Yeah, it's like that one that Riku is holding in the picture. Are you fucking tell me that that Keyblade is of light? The one that has the fucking... The, like, the heartless symbol almost on it. Are you tell me that shit is a light Keyblade? Somehow, I doubt it. Config, that's fine, probably. Hold on, let me check the camera. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh... The camera sensitivity, yes, yeah, fine. Command deck. Huh? Oh, no, that's fine. Deck scrolling, auto. After using it, uh, yeah, that's fine. Diving controls, yeah, that's fine. So it does on, vibrations off. Yeah, okay, that's, everything's fine. Mementos. Right. I don't have, yep, yeah, okay. Good. And then we have a little bar showing experience as well. Oh, I have air, air dash as well, huh? Interesting. Oh my fucking Christ! All right. 
Also, after he's dodged, he just... Oh, no, no, it's kind of... Oh. Also, Sora moves fast as fuck in this game. Like, he... He puts in some work here. Okay, yeah, we're just kind of... We're just doing this shit. And just... Can I jump off? Oh my god, yeah, okay. We we just freestyle be over here. We're just doing whatever. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Alright. That's that's curious. Alright, cool. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, alright. Calm calm the fuck down now. Yeah, Sora moves fast, damn. Item commands. Item commands let you use uh, items in your stock. However, you can only use a limited number of each item per battle. Yeah. This number is shown in your deck. If you're out of items, you cannot use it, even if you leave it installed in your deck. Yes, potion. Uh, hey, hold, hold the fuck up moments. You know. Detect. You. Oh, forgot. No, that's okay. Yeah, right. So, okay. Yeah, select. I get to see the whole fucking map. Thank you. That's something at least. Go after the boy. Okay. Um. But yeah, you're not letting me actually. Um. Uh, check my inventory with the command deck and whatnot. Also, did I see a thing that I could collect? I feel like it almost looked like a, a puzzle piece thing, but that was probably not what it was. Save points, yep, it's fine. Save, save your progress, return to the world map. Switch between players, or playable characters. Right, that was the thing. Yeah, because you can play as Riku, which is cool. I like that. I like to see more of Riku. And, no, end game. No, end game. Uh, end the game and return to the title all yeah, right this doesn't do anything no it's just there because it was there guess i have to do this to find out if i missed the thing i don't think i did jesus yeah i yeah we yeah okay we're able to just Ice Dream Cone. Okay. Where would you just do this shit? Where we just dash into a wall, hop, and then like dash into a wall and jump, and then dash into a wall and jump again. It's just, you can just climb wherever we want now. Just by doing this shit. It's... Uh, that's kind of ludicrous. That's kind of insane. <laughs> drops. They count the number of drops. Why? That's weird. Okay. Um. Okay. Well. Let's keep going. The fuck? Reality shift? Yes, please tell me what the fuck that is. Use reality shift to bend the rules of the world around you. Is it that kind of insane to just have? How did Sora get that? Works differently in each world. Does it now? Reality shift. If this pink symbol appears over Targa, it's time for a reality shift. You're using this fucking word so lightly. Press them together to trigger reality shift. What the fuck? Reality shift. Slingshot. Use L to lock on to, ob to the object you were targeting, then aim. Press X to launch the target in the directory shown. Oh, okay, it's... Gotcha. 
depending on your lock on target you may need to meet different requirements to, to get the pink reality shift market to appear for most foes this means certain dealing a certain amount of continual damage I see try reality shift on everything you never know what happened okay was there an option to sh to invert that fact there might have may have been no it was dive control okay because i wanted because it was controlling like in the um inverted where you like with um that one specifically was like a slingshot so you pushed back to get it to go further forward Okay, interesting. Okay, so I just need to go there. Gotcha. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Oh, hold on. His voice actor. Surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neko. Huh? Neku Sakuraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> Let's see. What was it? Is it one of the fucking Roxas crew <clears throat> that he shares a voice actor with? Maybe take out the Dream Eaters. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about what the fuck these are. Oh god, can I utilize this in combat? I can. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are these instead of the <coughs> the the big bodies? Except these don't use the same mechanic as big bodies. Because you can still hit them from the front. These things with you, they're dream eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Here. Sure. I guess. Oh, God, that music. I've heard the music if before. we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. Yes. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep. Cut off from all outside channels. Not even the heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called dream eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits which consume the nightmares. The dream eaters will guide you. 
Just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Ouch. I've been a bad idea. Meow wow recipe. Oh yeah, right. These were the pets I was talking about. You will have to receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares. Hostile dream eaters. You then use these dream pieces to create spirits. Friendly dream eaters. Go ahead and get started by selecting spirits here on the main menu. Now, now we get command deck and everything. Create spirit. Change party bond. Uh. Create spirits using a recipe. Create spirits from scratch. I see. <clears throat> to create a spirit using a recipe, you'll need to collect the materials in advance. Starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Okay, so... Do you have the command deck? Do they have melding in this game too? In which case, uh, it's gonna be me looking up on the internet a long list to see what abilities are available and creating it from that. Because there's no fucking way I'm doing that on just... On a whim. Also, the spirits are probably gonna have a list of their own. Dude, how do you create this? Is this... Well, I don't know if the, I'm gonna find a list of... Is this good? But it might be like a tier list of some kind. Whoa, okay. Um, wait, what? Uh, <coughs> interesting. Once you've settled on what spirits you want to create. You can sacri sacrifice a deck command to give your creation a stat boost. Okay. Your new spirit is part of the family. Be sure to give it a meaningful name and lots of TLC. I don't know what that stands for. Now select the recipe for the spirits you want to create. Cat or dog, boy or girl, Fear, friend or fiend. One thing's for sure, this dream eater is adorable. Warning, fire freaks it out. That's just flavor text, right? If you use more materials than the recipe requires, you can create a spirit with a higher level or rank than usual. Right. You can also sacrifice one of your commands to give the spirit a stat boost. That's optional though, then. Various types of bonuses are available. Why not choose a command now and power up your spirit? A rampant figment and vibrant figment. I have four currently in stock. So I could make it a D rank if I wanted to. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Max it to begin with. So there's potion. Okay, it says what it's gonna be. Thank fuck for that. If I give it a potion, it will have plus 5 HP. If I give it Spark Dive, it gets plus 1 defense. But this is... So this is a thing I could lose? Was Spark Dive the thing where I dash into a wall, jump, and then slam down? This is a key ability, is it not? More or less. Let's give it. Let's give it HP, I guess. Okay. Yes. I'm foreseeing um, off-stream uh, grinding for me regarding this. Okay, you start with minus five in resistance to everything. Oh God, naming shit. Uh, no, I want to. I wanted to see what it. Oh god. Why can I give them arrows and whatnot in their name? Also interesting. We're getting this shit. Um. Oh boy. Um. A name for this little dog creature. Why isn't that wonderful? Um, you know what? 
because he's not here and because I am bad at names, I'm going to need to have a fucking name. We're going to do this and this is going to surely um, is going to um, annoy him probably. <laughs> oh no, we're going to call him that. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, two out of two hearts. Is that health? Sure not. Looks like you and Chess are off to a great start. Fantastic. Good look at that. No, his HP is 57. So all two new spirit. Spirits will help you in combat. Give them lots of TLC. Don't know what that means. And increase your affinity. And you will do be duly rewarded. Use the hand icon to pet your spirits. Yes, where you would use the stylus for the 3S usually. Or otherwise. This might change the spirit's disposition and a Increase your, the, your affinity and earn it some XP. Use training toys to play with spirits and help them grow. Fighting alongside spirits or bonding with them will earn them link points. With that, the hearts. Link points can be spent on the ability link board. I'm sorry, uh, to unlock new commands and abilities for you. Uh, if this is the same as the fucking command board in... Um, in, uh, in birth by sleep or even tangentially close uh this will be a thing i won't use ever uh i can tell you that much but you know pet your spirit and bond with it okay there's a photo mode of course there is if you get stuck press l1 to bring up the help screen hand camera control poke Right, of course. Plus three LP. Wonderful. You gain plus one heart. I don't know what those hearts means, but... You received link points. Use them on the ability link board. To earn deck commands and abilities. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Mm, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do that ever. I'm sorry. But let's see how this is. This might not be as unenjoyable as the command board. On the ability link board, you begin at the starting point and spend link points to advance one space at a time. Unlock spaces to earn new deck commands and abilities for Sora and Riku. Use some link points now to unlock a new power. Ah, no, okay. This, I can... This seems... This is just like a skill tree where the link points are are shit to unlock. Okay. Uh, no, this is fine then. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, the command board was a Monopoly-esque terror that I... Monopoly slash Mario Party-esque terror that I am not... was not interested in at all. Could also be because I had no idea what the fuck was going on or how that shit worked, but, you know. Link critical. And that is an ability. Oh, look, okay, let's look at the abilities. So there's HP boosts. Fire boost, plus boost, thunder boost, water boost, whatever that means. Cure boost, item boost, attack haste, you yep. know. Special abilities can be learned and activated, which boost your stats or unlock new moves. Abilities are obtained from spirits. Really, most abilities you obtain can be activated at any time. Stat boosting abilities require that the spirits are ob you obtain them from stay in your party. Um. Oh. So my spirit having plus whatever in HP is that it will give me that. So the plus one in defense would have given me plus one in defense. Is that what we're? Uh, is that what we're saying here? Link critical. If your basic attack. And a spirit attack connect at the same time. <clears throat> Both attacks will power up and send opponents flying. Performing the link critical will give your link gauge a huge boost. That 
doesn't tell me what it does though each spirit's ability link board offers different rewards each specific type or each individual create new spirits and nurture them to gain an edge in your adventure oh boy when you're bonding with your spirits, hold R1 to enter photo mode. <laughs> That's definitely not going to be used very much. I don't care very much for that. The surrounding text will disappear, giving you the perfect opportunity for a screenshot. Okay, well that, I don't think that will do anything to it, so I will just won't use that. Yeah. Very interesting how I just like okay. And then shock dive, that's not spark dive. What is spark dive then? But yeah, I see I see plenty of grinding is probably gonna happen at some point. And yeah, so that's with abilities oh god, the command deck. Yes. You can assign one shortcut command by highlighting it and pressing... Yeah, yeah, Pressing L1. Okay. Um, spirits bond, change party, create spirits ability links. Cure magic haste, light screen, defense boost. Level. What's the... What's the... Blah. Opens once the spirit level reaches 10. Oh, it's just a check mark. Gotcha. Cura. Leaf Bracer. Well, that's important. Curaga. That's a step and a half. Magic Boost. Attack Haste. Poison Block. Slow. Item Boost. Spark. Interesting. <coughs> There we go. You you not into that? The fuck? This disposition has changed to rascal. The fuck does that mean? Okay, um, let's see, items, keyblades, yeah, dream pieces, vibrant figments, okay, abilities, yeah, item boosts, where the fuck did I pick that one up from, oh, he just has that, <sighs> type, oh, wait a minute, available, because that's what that, mm-hmm, so, Do the, so if I unlock them from the tree, like, I forget what I, God, what's it, yeah, link critical, will that disappear if I change the spirit to something else then? So yeah, it will show what potential things exist from having them, but surely I'll be able to get these, like, boosts from somewhere else, unless it's... Unless it works as um, use the spirit, uh, gain link points and whatnot with it, unlock them in the ability link tree, and then once you have them unlocked, you can switch them out and you will keep them the abilities here. L just like um, in Birth by Sleep, when you meld an item and ha and it has an ability on it, it's currently active 
as these would be currently active now then these are currently uh on for me but once i unlock them they will uh they will be uh permanently on me no maybe maybe that's how it works also, yeah, heartless. I'm curious what it says. Living embodiments of the darkness within our hearts, and therefore the darkness has been in the world since its inception. Although they in originate in our hearts, they have no hearts of their own, hence their name. They instinctively hunt for hearts and survive and reproduce by stealing them. They have no leaders or hier hierarchy. Least of all, the chaotic purebloods which arise spontaneously. Emblem heartless. Those created artificially by Sainort's and some behave in much the same way. Right. Command deck. Edit deck. Command lists. Oh, this is just lists. All the things. Oh, okay. Switch decks. And you have three decks. Yep. Okay. Edits. Reaction commands. Yep. So we got jump, dodge, roll, air, slide, lock, which could be changed and these are all additional shit that happens when you do stuff yep 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 what are these okay hold on let me do this quick blitz spark dive create an electric shock where they may stun some surrounding ground based foes sliding dash fire blizzard sleep potion high potion <clears throat> interesting yet again in this i in this game then um these items might may become obsolete once you unlock uh, cure they might become completely useless um and also yeah just you just kind of get to choose what abilities you have here which um Could be pretty much whatever, I guess. Okay, so spark dive. Launch a small ball of fire towards enemies. Uh, blast enemies head on with a small chunk of ice that cuts right through and potentially deals multiple hits. I see. Put nearby enemies to sleep for sure. If you are put to sleep, the drop gauge's speed will increase. That doesn't tell me anything. Let's do these two. These four more accurately. Okay, so I'm level two. He's level three. Wonderful. Dun 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 dun. Jesus. Fucking Sora moves fast as fuck. Balloon. Okay then. So this just seems like a way faster um, combat to birth by sleep. It's the same, but it's faster. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? Oh boy, we're gonna be introduced to this guy immediately. No way! Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku. They're too dangerous. What? Why am I so Because someone's cheating, probably. Oh, okay. We're just getting. Okay. We're just getting to be Riku instantly. Oh. 
Okay, that's just gotcha. Why does Riku look so fucking young in his portrait? Oh, so Riku gets Mega Flare as well? Right. Oh, here, Mega Flare. Like, yeah, with that haircut, like, he looks so fucking young. He l looks like he's a kid again. Huh? Which is Am weird. I, I would rather prefer him town? with the long hair. My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? Yeah, you look more like the outfit you had when you were a kid. Like, well, almost exactly. Fell over and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. What? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Yes. Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. Uh. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. Yes, thank you. Okay, because cool. Yes, good. Blanket statement to let us do whatever the fuck we want. just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. <laughs> you know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay, you want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. This is just gonna be called Traverse Town as well. Yeah, okay. You unlock link portals. Approach a pink dot. And press X to access the link portal. Once accessed, you can face off against or team up with spirits from other worlds. Right. Each portal is marked with a difficulty level, so don't bite off more than you can chew. The stars indicate the difficulty level. The portal won't disappear if you give up. Gear up and give it another try. Project uh, Okay. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ooh, very agile of you. Okay. Oh, I'm still cut. No. Okay. Oh, no. Fire freaks them out. Yeah, okay. That was not just flavor. Okay. Hello, Riku. Keyblades. Surely you will only have this one. Except, probably not. Do I have the what wait why are they why are they like this? I don't have a spirit do I so Okay what abilities do I have? It's the same is it the same as Soros? It sure looked like it. So we'll equip you with the same things, shall we? I can access spirits, however. Friendship portal. Borrow these spirits. The spirits will return home after a certain amount of time. Ah. Uh. Huh. I, I don't know what... Okay. they're only for this screen maybe Joshua why don't they ever attack you they being dream eaters they won't go after you unless you're a dreamer which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams but they're definitely attacking me so you think I'm a dreamer every human being is a dreamer I had a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything. But it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. Ah, uh, no, now we get to create spirits. Okay, gotcha. Komori bat. Da, 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 da. Let's do the same thing if we're able to. Yeah, there we go. Quick blitz plus one attack. So this is what they will give me, I guess. Maybe. Should I get rid of sleep? Get plus one magic. Rescuer. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be, uh... A bat. Okay. Uh, da, 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 um, let's just go. Quick and easy, I guess. So I'm terrible with names. I 
I got you hmm? now, Joshua. Hmm? Once okay, I you. take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's... I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, alright? Your inverse psychiatry right. ain't gonna work. Let's go! Three meters! <coughs> what? Ugh, man, not cool. <laughs> Interesting. Sure. Sora and Riku each link with spirits in their own unique way. Do they not? Can believe you fill up a spirit's link gauge and it will briefly lend you its power. Sora uses link attacks to team up with his spirits and take on the enemy. Riku changes link styles, absorbing his spirits to power up his combos for a period of time. Oh, so does he have command styles from Birth by Sleep? Link Gauge. Link Gauge will refill as spirits attacks and connect with the enemy. Switch to the Link Command. Press square to unleash an attack. Switch to the com Link Command. Uh, link with two spirits simultaneously to initiate the powerful dual link. Mm hmm. Toggle with. You can also access link commands by holding down a spirit shortcut command by the responding buttons. I see. Link with the spirit to defeat the enemies. Yeah, that is kind of like... Myself also do that went for. Fill up the link gauge of both spirits in your party, and you can team up with both at once to perform a powerful duel link. Perform a duel link, switch to the link command, then use up and down to choose a duel link and press triangle. Naturally, duel links are much more powerful than link with a single spirit. Collect as many spirits as you can, and you never know what new tricks you might unlock. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. <laughs> I know the feeling. Ugh. Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Does this game does the game just do this to automatically change between the people? No oh, flashback. The keyblade words, so let's go. Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Heart. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into 20 pieces. Seven of light, 13 of darkness. <laughs> and as for the source of all light, okay. the one true Kingdom Hearts, right, of course. 
It was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. Hmm. Where is he? Huh? Huh? They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. Yeah, maybe. Hold on. Dropping between characters. In this game, you will alternate between Sora and Riku to progress to the story. To drop or switch between characters, just select drop on the pause screen or the main menu. Yeah, I believe you could do... You could do whichever. I think you could do all of Sora's in one and then all of Riku's. Or you did a bit of Soros and then a bit of Rikus and then back and forth like that. I think. I think it's just kind of you just do whatever you want. Drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the. Oh, the drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the field. Sleep and other negative statuses will cause your drop gauge to drain more quickly. When the gauge runs out, you will enter bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After bonus time ends, you will drop into the next character. Ah! So the game will just fucking push you into the other one. <clears throat> okay. So the game will just... The game will, will just force you to switch yeah, between them. Strength, magic, and defense increased. Wow. Friendship portal. So, well, it says difficulty one, but this period. I don't know what they mean by difficulty. It's like borrowing them seems weird and like. know if it's needed to borrow them area no yeah yeah ha. hey ha. back off yeah 
them and he you can okay sure defeat all the spirits so one was just borrow these dudes and now it's defeat them <clears throat> block at least three flow motion attacks okay <clears throat> i can do that Here we go, that's done. Complete! So I did this challenge thing, what does that net me? So I get points, 10 DP, don't know what that means. Rampant Fantasy, other price, so that's a material then. I get royal cake as a bonus price for doing that. Drop and change characters. Ordinary day. Just a peaceful overcast. Friends and foes receive a 20% boost in magic. <clears throat> Dogish cat thing sighted. Overcast, friends, foes receive it. Okay. Weird. But interesting. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Waking dream. Ensure spirits always retain one HP after attacks they would otherwise. Okay. Okay, so I am able to just take that one. So both Riku and Sora are able to use the same spirits. Thank you for that. That's pretty helpful. Did you get HP plus one? No, it must have been LP plus one. Yes, gain experience! Poke you in the face. Four points, so can't get cure yet. Twelve. Just give me waking dream, right? So I'm guessing these spirit abilities will always change depending on who you currently have, but everything else. Will just work okay so if i hop back then and try and get some more link points with you to get cure 
mixture will be useful. Damn, look at that. Ooh, fantastic. Smart cookie. What does that mean? I don't need the Nintendogs experience here, okay? He's almost there we go. We got two out of three now. Don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's good. I don't know if it matters where you're petting them. At all. I have no idea. You changed your disposition to saboteur? Curious. Think with this spirit two more times. Interesting. So what do you have then? You have Sarah Gravira, Sarah Gravity, Confusion Block. Tank boosts, drain dive, magic haste, dark screen, confusion strike, magic boost, dark screen, magic haste, magic haste, okay. <laughs> now then, give me that cure. I think this is fine. Uh, do, 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 do. So how does this like work? Rampant fantasy intrepid figments will make a heavy rap. Don't know what the fuck that is, but it's rank C at the beginning, level two. Hyperactive and real handful. These reptiles rock hard when they roll. Eh. Okay, so this is just gonna fill with puns. Uh. So either that douche or this monkey, whatever. And that's it. No, I can also make in this possible spirit 60%, 4% with someone different. That's a B rank right there. You're a C rank, you're an E rank. Super terrible then. Let's make this B rank one. Oh, okay, no, I need... Five and four. So it's possible. The same with this, I need six of these. Three and two. Need three and two. Okay. Got it. Yeah. 
Oh, it just shows the safe one and a Moogle. So what do you function the set? Yeah, okay. Now I can buy these things from you. And just recipes in general. So these things I could buy to feed them to give them different stats and dispositions. I don't know what the disposition thing does. <clears throat> I'm gonna be very honest. Oh, I can paint them a color as well. Well then. This won't... Uh... Ooh, this has a, a, a thing. Yeah, yeah, ha. Has a thing. No, it's just part of them. No. A little difficult to directly uh, choose where to go when you do that. Okay, so I need to go on the green one. Here, okay. No, they, they just 
teleport to me. No. Sure, let's just cheat about it. No. Oh god. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that infinitely. <clears throat> Interesting. Just bad, maybe. Yes. Here we go. Spark. Oops, not the right one. What is this? Summon a ring of revolving light crystals that deal damage to enemies. Sora only. Still the post office? <laughs> I feel like somehow it's not. My dudes. A balloon. Oh. Let's check the map. What does this look like? Interesting, so that means that spark is bad because it can easily be interrupted. Okay. 
in the environment that it's supposed to work in, which is with enemies all around you. Let's go back to the post office. No. We shall save and we shall pick this back up on Tuesday. Um, this is interesting. I'm definitely seeing um, the um, this. <laughs> I'm definitely foreseeing in the future there's going to be plenty of um, me just like idly playing uh, between streams. Just like collecting material, I guess, taking you also know, the grinding levels and just um, interacting with uh, the spirits to unlock abilities to just max out the ability list and shit like that. I foresee that happening uh, if if that system works as i think it is which is like you have a spirit it gives you these abilities but then if you unlock it in the ability link uh, tree then you keep them even when you switch out the spirits that's what i think it does uh, but we'll see if that is actually how it works uh as we continue yeah this seems cool i like the flow motion this it's very uh neat to be able to just get around doing that and also you being able to um do attacks through it by just certain enemies you could just roll into and then you do one that's very interesting but yes anyways that will be everything for today